Good morning, YouTube. It is Tuesday morning. I'm stuck inside. It's still raining. It's been raining since 5 o'clock yesterday afternoon, and uh, I'm about to lose my mind. So, thought I would make this video and show you guys what I'm doing. I'm hooking up this outlet for 220 uh, for my dryer, and thought I would explain it to you guys. For some of you all that's never done it before, and or you just would like to know. So, here we go disclaimer i'm not an electrician i really don't know jack squat about electrical anything when it comes to wiring i got this information from a licensed electrician and i'm just passing this information to you so with that said let's see if i can do this right first things first you want to get a detector to see if you've got hot wires in the wall okay now, this is currently off. I think I spent, uh, I think this is $20 or $30. Can't remember. I've had it for a while. And you pick them up at Lowe's. So I'm turning it on and rolling it down about halfway so the sensitivity is not too extreme. So if you look here, that is a red wire. It's hot, apparently. This black wire is hot. This white wire is a neutral. And this bare copper wire is a ground. So just so you safety people see me do this, going over to my fuse panel. These green fuse panels here are for my washer and dryer. I am turning off the power. Going back over here to my wires. Turning on my handy dandy gadget. Going back to the red wire. That's a hot wire. Not anymore black it's not hot anymore and you know the neutral and the ground so just so yes i showed you guys that now i want to explain the plug now, i do have notes very seldomly but i do have this time so here's the plug normally when you buy it this little knockout will be in place here i knock that out and you'll have this wire crimper and some attachment hardware now, if you notice, you've got two copper screws, one here, one here. You've got a white and a green. Now, the way 220 works, if I'm not mistaken, your red and your black or your black and your red go to the copper here. And you get 110 volts through each side of the plug. Your green here is your ground. That's where the bare copper line is going to go. The white is a neutral. It's kind of like a second ground. So that's going to be a white coated wire, bare copper, red or black or black or red, vice versa. The test, see if anything blows up on me. Hot. Let's plug this bad boy in. Wait a minute. You know what I just realized? I've got a four wire outlet, but I've only got a three prong plug. <laughs> so, hmm, we gotta fix this. Now, some of you might not know, but some 220 outlets are three plug or four plug. Like if you see, I got three wires here and the bottom of the plug, it's got three pins. Well, my plug is different. It's a four. So what I had to do is go to the hardware store, buy a new plug. It's got four pins on it. And it's also going to give me an extra wire. So... If you look, if I can get out of the light here, you've got a red tipped wire here, and then you got white, and there's a black tipped wire. So you just match your color wires up. You've got red, black, and white. This one's got an extra green. I can either take it over here for this ground, or I can put it where the white wire goes. So just do that, good to go. Okay, folks, you all have to forgive me. I thought I was making a video when really I just took a picture. <laughs> so I got the wiring for the plug hooked up. 
to the dryer. So, and I've got my power on. So now I'm going to try to see if it works. Make sure I don't. Okay. It's empty. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've got a dryer. That is outstanding. So today, on this old crappy trailer, I try to use my redneck ingenuity to get my washer to work. Okay, so what I have here is I've got my drain for the kitchen sink and there's a drain here for the washer. Now, I've not really paid a whole lot of attention to this because it's been raining so much and I've not been able to get up underneath her and to fix anything, but now I've got a day, it's sunny, and I think I've got about a 10 hour window before we get rain again. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do a temporary fix to where the sink drain, I'm gonna try to get it to go out here, past the trailer, and then also um, for the drain for the washer to get it out here too and keep it from underneath the trailer. Now. That's not the right way to do it, I understand. But right now, I want to get my washer online. Yeah. Then I'll use, I've got some biodegradable, you know, environmentally safe soap, uh, like they use in RVs and stuff that I'll use. So when it does go on the ground, it, it won't hurt anything. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of water piled up underneath here. A lot of that's due to the rain that we keep having and it keeps coming down this hill. Some of it's, you know, from draining the sink. So I'm going to put some plastic down and crawl up underneath here and see what's going on. I've got some, just some scrap PVC and I'll see if I can't make something work. Now, what I have here is just a bunch of scraps that I've got laying around. Uh, and I'm going to try to make something work out of this. Now, you've got two different types of pipe. The white is a PVC and black is ABS plastic, okay? Now... They make something called a transition cement that you should use anytime you connect the ABS to the PVC or vice versa. I don't have any. And since this is not going to be a permanent fix, I'm not gluing anything. I just need it to change the direction of water. So at a later date, I'll take it back apart and actually run the sink drain into the uh, washer drain and tie that into the septic system. I'll probably do that in the, in the next week or so, maybe a little bit longer, just depending on what's going on. But right now, I just need to drain this water away from the mobile home. So let's get to it. Okay, as you can see here, this is the end of the sink drain. And I forgot I actually left a coupler on it, which is good, because I'll probably need it. And then right here is the drain for the washer. And you can see all the water lines, the original water lines for the trailer, how they've been cut or broken. So that's another reason why I wanna do all new packs underneath here, because I just, that old PVC that they put in these old mobile homes is really garbage. It's, it's so uh, brittle and even in cold weather, it's not even worth having. So PEX is gonna be a definite upgrade to this trailer. Okay, so you can see here how I join the pipes. I use electrical tape. Now, if that's not country, as David Allen Cole says, I'll kiss your ass. <laughs> so, I know this is not the right way to do it, okay, folks? But, as Pastor Joe Fox says, you make do with what you got where you're at. And I just need this to last just maybe a month, and then I'll have the correct plumbing installed so I just used whatever fittings that I had and made it work and I've brought it all the way out here just to jump on the back side of the trailer out here in the open trying to get the water out from underneath the trailer Lord knows I don't need any extra water so I believe this will do okay I might get some dirt and pile it up over here to the left next to the foam to keep it from going back up underneath the trailer so that'll do good for right now also i had a tree cutting guy come by and give me a price on cutting down these two trees this big one right here and that other one 
with an X. That other big one on the other side of the power line. And that little one. Those are going to be the first three trees to go. Quoted me $600 to do all three trees. Uh, he's going to cut them up in about eight foot sections. Then I'm responsible for getting rid of all the brush and cutting the tree up. So I'll probably be having this done the next couple weeks. I want those trees gone that way when I start getting my topsoil in. It's a lot easier to grade. And I have more, I guess, places to plant grass. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. Some of y'all might be asking, how in the world am I going to use my washer? Well, water hose. <laughs> I'm going to run it in here to one of these lines. I'm not sure if one line is specifically for hot or, yeah, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to cap one end off with a valve. That way I can shut it in case the manifold in there backs up or water wants to come out the other hose that I'm not using. So I'm going to hook that up. So this is how it's going to work. I got the water hose coming in from the back door. Y'all going to love my red nakedness on this one. I, I honestly, I should probably be ashamed of being this. Just uh, the level J rig on this is like ten. <laughs> but I'm really not ashamed. I'm actually kind of proud of my ingenuity. So I've got the water hooked up here to the one of the water lines. I've got the other water line here with a shot off in case it starts leaking. I can see I've got the drain going down the drain tube. I just got to plug this in. I want to show y'all something. Look at this peach. Now that's some red nakedness right there. I'm using a four by four post to keep the door shut and hold the hose and keep the dog from getting out if I'm not paying attention. So all I got to do is turn my faucet on and see how this works. And let's pray to the almighty Joe Dirtte that I don't have a leak. Ain't no time like the present, I guess. Well, the water is on. I don't feel any water leaks. Or nothing really to be worried about. There's a little bit. So that's good. Nothing coming out here. Moment of truth. Let's see if we can do some washing. Some laundry. What the hell is in here? Probably some bugs and all that fun shit. I don't see any leaks, which is good. I got it plugged in. I got the drain going. Now let's see if my American ingenuity works. Oh, damn. All I got is cold water, but that's all I ever wash my clothes in anyway. Sweet. What's going on here is I'm going to do a small load of clothes. Because if for some reason my drain pipe doesn't work, at least I'll have something washed. <laughs> I can worry about that later. You don't believe how much things like this can make you happy if you've not had it for a while. And you've always had to go other places to do it. This is awesome, man. So good. So, I got the plug fixed, got the washer and dryer installed, I got my drains done, kinda, until a further date. And, again, another very, very, very small victory just trying to get this place back online where it's usable. The good stuff will come when the weather gets nice. We're on a rent cycle, and it's working actually working pretty good and the water is going away from the trailer sweet redneck ingenuity saves the day again